<laughs> well, let's listen to your song. Money to burn. Money to burn. <laughs> You wear lip gloss. Oh, really? Yeah, and you know, the other night we're out, you know, we're having a few drinks, and this guy comes running out, you know, down the side or outside having a cigarette, and it's like a big dude, you know, he looks like a linebacker on a football team. You know, he's smoking a cigarette. Yeah, could have been. Yeah, yeah, he's slender but big, you know. Probably like in his 30s, maybe 40s, you know. And big dude, you know, comes pushing through the, pushing through the crowd, and he's got this, this leopard skin like leotard thing going on. Oh, I love leopard skin. Nightgown. Yeah, it was like a nightgown, you know? <laughs> this is getting better and better. And I was Come just on. like, holy shit, you know? <laughs> he had a cigarette in one hand. Yeah, a cigarette in one hand, and <laughs> here and the other just charging through the car. The crowd image is growing. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this is a good city, you know? It <laughs> is. <laughs> and nobody looked twice. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I know. You can get mugged, and nobody's going to even look twice. But, like, besides all that, we have a little segment on Rue and Who called Skeletons. Uh. And uh, it seems like you guys might have a hidden little skeleton hiding in your closet. Four skeletons. Four skeletons. So we're going to start with Mr. Manager. Uh, and um, <laughs> let's see if this little clean-cut Doogie Hauser type has a skeleton in your closet. You need to speak into a microphone. Uh-oh. Come on, show these boys what you made. You know, as, as a manager, I'm not sure if I can really give my skeletons, you know. Do you have <laughs> any? You know, maybe I don't. How about a skeleton light, then? What about when you were, like, five? Did you ever steal anything from a candy store? Probably not, right? Um, no, you know, I didn't really steal. I've, you know, I've done a lot of drugs, you know. Oh, okay. You know. Well, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I want... <laughs> <laughs> he did. It was, it was did, he said. You know, yes. I, I once rolled on ecstasy for eight days. That's a story. On one pill? Why, well, you have one a low pill, resistance. One pill. It turns out it was, turns out it was cut with meth. Methadone. <laughs> <laughs> One was, people are going to be wanting that dealer. Yeah, One right? day, was, eight days. I was One living pill. in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the time. Wow. And I was in high school. And um, in that in that experience, I ended up in New York. I ended up spending over two thousand wow. dollars. I ended up in the back of a police car. Oh I ended up in the hospital God. with the lead physician saying I needed to be committed to a mental asylum. Oh my God. Saying that I had lost my mind. <laughs> And you know, it's now your manager. system at it. And it retarded <laughs> your um, ability to look old, I think. It, it, it prevented it, you from <laughs> aging. Right. He found the cure, yeah! yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One pill. I yeah, mean, yeah. not only did one pill last for eight days, it was eight it's going to last forever, you know? You it's from a, it's ever, the cure of the youth. I believe it must be, because that seasoned you up a bit, yeah, but you know, yet it kept you from ever getting a wrinkle. It changed my world. Wow. <laughs> so it did what it was supposed to. Yeah, you know. That is a lucky, lucky I don't recommend maneuver. it, though. <laughs> well, but you survive. You know that saying, if it doesn't kill you. And here I am. Makes you crazier. No, yeah, right? crazier. <laughs> well, well, thank you. That was yeah. a very, very, very symbolic skeleton. Okay. Next. Well, I really don't know. I mean... 
Well, you can't top that. <laughs> you guys gotta help. Me, you guys gotta help me out here a little bit. Okay, where are you from? Dominican Republic. All right. Okay. Um, how'd you get out of there? Uh, I came here for college. Did you swim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I took a canoe over here. <laughs> and nobody <laughs> ate you. <laughs> no, I mean I'll I came pet. here. I came here for college, and then uh, I graduated college. So do you guys ever talk in Spanish together? No, yeah. Like yeah. See, yeah, see. see. Oh, <laughs> when they you don't want that. Uh, That's usually no, but I usually don't hide anything. I got here, uh, so I finished college, and now I'm here. I don't want to go back. Home. And you're a lead guitarist. Yeah. So who's your role model? Uh, I might say uh, James Setfield from Metallica. He's a rhythm, but ah. but he's my inspiration. Okay. And uh, Dimebag, of course, he's like my. Yeah. If I c- if I could have uh, two arms, <laughs> it would be him. Do you like Carlos Santana? Of course.